so this controls controls the tap head to read or write and move left or right and to move left or right okay so these three so a turing machine mainly consists of these three components okay one is the uh, input tape of infinite length another is the tape head that points to a given cell of this infinite tape and and the third is the fsm that controls the tape head okay yes sir now now tell me how a turing machine now let us answer the second part how a turing machine works so what is the initial condition so let me draw a first uh, how it um, so let us write this how a turing machine works okay so so what we have seen is that i have a long tape of infinite length so it is extended in the both directions okay and in a given portion of this infinite tape i have the input symbol suppose 1 0 1 1 okay and the rest of the symbols are blank symbols initially okay and we represent the blank symbols as capital b okay so so how a turing machine works to in order to answer that you have to write that so what is the initial condition so initial condition of the turing machine is what my tape contains the input symbol a yeah contains the input string and rest and rest of the cells contain blank symbols okay secondly the tape head points to so my tape head points to the starting of the input string so there is a tape head that is controlled by a fsm okay so the tape head points to the starting of the input string starting of input string okay and and uh, means what is the start initial condition of the fsm that means the fsm is at starting state q0 okay now what happens so on every move on every move what happens the tape head reads the content of the cell okay now depending on the transition function defined the tape head can write something into the cell a new al new tape alphabet okay and on the basis of the transition function either the tape head can move towards right or move towards left okay so i can say on every move what happens first fsm may switch to a new state so that is the behavior of the fsm secondly the tape head reads the content of the cell and may write a new tape alphabet into the cell understood yes sir a new tape alphabet into the cell okay then thirdly what happens the tape head may move 
may move to the left or to the right. And this procedure continues till I reach a final state. Okay. So at the final state, there is no possible transitions and hence the Turing machine stops. So we should also know when a Turing machine stops. Okay. So, so the next question is what will be the output of a Turing machine? So, so just a second, uh, let me go to a new page. So, what will be the final condition of a Turing machine? So, we already discussed that the initial condition is the tape head points to the uh, starting input symbol, the FSM uh, is at the starting state Q0, okay, and the input tape contains the only the input string and the rest of the content is blank symbol. Now, on every move, what happens? The tape head read the content of the cell okay the fsm may move to a new state the tape head may write something into the uh, original cell and may move towards left or right okay so now right. now this procedure yes, now this procedure will continue okay now what will be the final condition of a turing machine so the final condition is either i can say either the turing machine the the tape head uh, the Turing machine may reach may reach a final state okay from where there is no possible transition okay that means uh, it accepts the string okay or it may happen that the Turing machine may reach a state which is not not final state that is non final state but there is no further transition okay but there is no further transition from that state what will happen then So it will stop or halt, okay, halt. from that state. So the Turing machine will halt. This implies TM Turing machine will halt. And thirdly, it may happen that Turing machine may enter into an infinite loop. How it will uh, happen? Like, like you are uh, going to a state, okay, from that state you are writing something and going to left. Now again in the uh, previous uh, cell, you are reading that uh, content and you are writing something and going to write. Understood? That means, uh, that means the uh, FSM will loop around between these two states and will continue to, uh, means it entered into an infinite loop and continues uh, means it didn't reach uh, it do, it does not reach any final state and it will continue into an infinite loop okay so these are the three possibilities for a turing machine either it can reach a final state and accept the string or it may reach a non final state where there is no possible but there is no possible transition from that state okay and it uh, reach, it reject the string but it uh, stops uh, but it may happens that it uh, enters into an infinite loop okay in that case also it rejects the string but we say that it does not halt okay so so now let us come to another concept that is transition function for a Turing machine so let me so tell me what will be the uh, mathematical representation of a transition function
So transition function of a Turing machine, how it will look like? So, so first of all, 